and I think now if I was to have that, she would give me that space mm. because she would know what I was doing in there. Amen. That's good. Yeah. To where before she didn't know what I was doing. Was I looking at something wrong on my phone? Was, am I talking to some woman or am I? Not that I was, or but, but it's that. Sure, yeah. You know, uh, now she'd know I'm seeking the Lord, or I'm watching a football game and I need that space, or yeah. what it may be. But yeah, I would have some some gaming stuff, and but but mainly at this point in my life. I'm not huge into sports. I'm an OU fan for football, and that's I'm really sorry. about it. <laughs> and um, I like Harleys, and I like to play golf. So there would be there would be some stuff in, in there that considered that, but most of it would be godly stuff, just yeah. to, to really renew my mind daily. That's right. That's right. Well, one oh, thing right. I hear you saying is, and for, at least for me, you know, I, I just turned 36, and so it's like I want to enjoy life. I think God intended us to enjoy life. I think a man cave is there to enjoy life with my boys, with my brothers. You know what I mean? And so we tend to get so uptight about everything and anything. And so, uh, but I like how you called it a war room because that's what it is. I'm going to war, but I'm doing it with God. You know what I mean? So, but it's still a place where we can decompress. Good. Uh, my man cave would consist of uh, probably be in my garage just because I do like Harleys as well. And I do a lot of tinkering on mine as well as many others Harleys. So I would want to be able to have it to where I could pull a Harley in and work on it with all my tools and stuff. Mm. But also I want couches and a TV, not big into gaming. So I probably wouldn't have no <laughs> Xbox or no PlayStation in there, <laughs> but it would have a bunch of faith-based scripture, paintings, pictures on the wall. And the only music that you'd hear off whatever sound system I ended up putting in there, which I would probably put a sound system in there. If you've heard my truck, my wife's car, or my bike, you know that I like <laughs> loud sound. Yeah. Uh, would be probably some type of Christian pop, country, hip-hop, Christian-related music playing regularly. But also, like we were discussing, also have that meeting place for the boys to come over, shoot the breeze, have a Bible study. You, you bring like a mini Men of Valor to your house. <laughs> you could call it that, but I'd just call it Brothers in Christ. That, the Brothers in Christ get together. <clears throat> that makes sense, man. Listen, my, my, I got a bunch of tattoos. My most asked about tattoo now is the Yahweh mm. on my neck. And then, really, you can engage people really good with that because they're like, what does that mean? What is Yahweh? Oh, yeah. And you tell them it's the name of God. And you get to explain it to them. And they're like, oh. And then they start thinking about it. They're going to go look it up, and they're going to read more into the story. You know what I mean? It's it's really. And then the second one is my Romans 12, 21 on my hand. Well, they want to know what it, it's, what it is, what the scripture is. Why would you just put the verse? Why didn't you just put the whole scripture? Well, because now you ask me a question, and I get to tell you. 